my friends welcome back to another review this is the natural soap man as always and guys this past week i had the pleasure of trying out what is the black stuff company's latest limited editions the shamrock saint and the what's your poison limited editions so i'm really excited to share these with you guys so let's get into the video Let's start with the boxes first and what we have here is what is clearly a St. Patrick's Day theme limited edition set. Now I was hoping to get these before St. Patrick's Day but obviously that wasn't meant to be and which is no big deal uh, because both of these soaps are absolutely fantastic spring soaps as spring is now upon us and I'm explaining a little bit more of that as the video goes on but these are two wonderful soaps for spring. Now I think this is really cool to point out for these soaps. Uh, what you have here, I don't think I've actually ever seen any company do before uh, because typically what a company would do is when they have a limited edition, they will individually design them, right, for whatever they're trying to go for. Now, you'll get certain, a set of them where they will uh, go along with a certain theme, right? We've seen before, like literally last week with the Batman, with Squatch, um, you know, you had the Batman and the Riddler, they were part of the overall theme, but they were not connected like this, right? where we have here, you have uh, the Shamrock Saint and the What's Your Poison. If you take them together and you combine them, they'll make one bigger picture, right? And I don't think I've ever seen that and I think that's really cool and I appreciate the creativity and I like when companies do things a little differently. So I thought that was worth pointing out. All right guys, let's start talking about our soaps here. On one hand, we got the Shamrock Saint, which is well, basically we got a yellow soap with a green swirl design here. Looks really cool, makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, growing up, I always know St. Patrick's Day to pretty much always be associated with green and yellow or green and gold uh, colors. So, makes sense to me and looks really good. Then on the other hand, you have What's Your Poison? Now this is a charcoal soap and that's what's gonna give you that nice deep black color that you see. And if you look close enough, there's also a, a black swirl in there as well. And this is what I was alluding to last week, if you remember with the Batman review, where I was sort of saying um, how they didn't need to necessarily use that black iron rust, you know, to give them that black color. I would have preferred a charcoal, and this is why. You get exactly the same uh, idea or principle here with the black color, but now you get some benefits here, right? You still get that nice black aesthetic that you want, but now you're getting giving benefits to the user right as charcoal is famous for you know helping pull out those toxins in your skin so it's kind of what i was alluding to this is a perfect example now before we move on i do also do want to point out that both of these soaps are going to come in at 5.5 ounces so they're going to be a little bit bigger than some of the other soaps that he makes all right my friends let's move on to the ingredients section of our video and let's talk a little bit more about our ingredients now I'm gonna go ahead and post the ingredients on the screen for you guys so you can check those out. Now, as you can tell, there is a ton of ingredients here for both of them. So I'm just gonna leave them on, on the screen long enough for you to read both of them um, as I'm not gonna read every single one of them. Now, first things first though, it's important to note that both of them are in fact all natural. Uh, neither one's gonna have any type of artificial fragrances or colors or uh, any funny business like that, or any harsh chemicals, or anything like that. That's actually one of the reasons why I do like black stuff, uh, because they take pride in using all natural ingredients, 
and something I appreciate and I hope that continues. Now, there are a couple of greens that I can point out for both of them that I thought were pretty neat. Starting with the Saint, we had, a, actually, this is actually a goat milk soap. Um, we have goat milk and we also got honey, which are both fantastic for the skin. Uh, now, this soap does say it has a smooth feel, but goat milk is actually technically a natural exfoliant. So this bar of soap is still actually technically an exfoliating bar of soap, as goat milk is naturally an exfoliant. And then on the other hand, we have the snake, which is absolutely a much rougher feeling soap, right? You have the oatmeal and the pumice that are way more prevalent here. So it's got a much rougher uh, texture to it. Uh, you obviously have your beer and your cider. This is in fact a beer soap. I'm a huge fan of beer soaps, I love them. Now both soaps are roughly gonna have about four what I call fatty oils, right? Your olives, your coconut, uh, your sustainable palm oils, things like that. You also got your shea butter. You also got a nice little variety of essential oils and things like that. So overall, both soaps are featuring some really nice ingredients that are surely gonna give you some benefits for your skin. But there you have it guys, those are the ingredients for both of the soaps. I know there's a lot there, but let's move on to the next part of the video where we're gonna start talking about how these soaps smell. All right, my friends, let's move on to the next part of the video where we're gonna talk about the scents of our soaps. Now, interesting enough, very similar to like the box work, both these soaps are actually sort of connected to each other. Both of them are gonna feature this, what we call a vetiver. Now, vetiver can be described as um, dry, earthy, smoky, even leathery. Uh, it's very masculine. It's a very masculine smelling soap. Now, which becomes very prevalent here because both of them have this underlying, very masculine scent that's, um, you can pick up on if you smell it enough. It's not overwhelming or very strong, but um, you can definitely pick up on it when you smell both of them side by side. Now, however, that's where it ends. <laughs> both of them going completely different directions. Uh, one hand, we have the same, which is like a fresh, clean, uh, citrusy, uh, obviously citrusy with the lemon and lime thing going on. So it's a very masculine, fresh, clean soap. And then on the flip side with the What's Your Poison, you have a smoky, woodsy uh, beer soap, right? A wonderful combination, by the way. Love it. A little bit of pine tar in here as well. I think that's what's kind of pushing that smokiness to it. Now, I remember this last pine tar, wasn't necessarily a big fan of it. This one, I like this one. This is a much, this is my kind of pine tar. A little more robust, it's more bolder, it's uh, fuller, it's thicker, you know, very masculine. I would even say this one's a little more masculine than the uh, lemon and lime one here. Um, now, lemon and lime one, I absolutely love this one because it's got an edge to it. I, one, I love lime. I really like the smell of lime. I like the I like lemon. So they really complement each other, and I'm, and I'm surprised you don't get that combination very often. I don't know, it would make sense to me, but you don't. And so it's good to see it here. I think both of them smell absolutely wonderful here. And I love the fact that they do two, to they, they're connected, but they two, they're doing two totally different things here. So right, so you're getting a nice variety. And I think both of them, well, to be fair, you probably use them all year long, but I think for this time of the year, they're gonna do wonderful, you know, we're getting coming into that spring as both of them just have that nice energy to them. So at the end of the day, both of them smell absolutely fantastic, guys. But let's move on to our lather test. Check them out, come back, and we'll do some final thoughts. So let's move right on. <music> Thank you.
friends, welcome back from the lab. Let's, guys, let's start doing some concluding thoughts and wrap up our video. As we just saw, both souls really featured a really nice lather, which is always really good to see. Not surprising, but still good to see. Now let's go over a few small details here. Um, both of them are going to come at about 5.5 ounces. So that's a little bit bigger than some of his other soaps. Now both of them will cost $8.75 US dollars. Um, also to know that they're um, both limited editions. So if you are remotely interested in either one of these soaps, I do recommend sort of, you know, jumping on that and then not waiting um, due to obviously limited quantities, right? So if you're interested, I would definitely go ahead and try to, get, try to get a bar, you know, don't wait too long. So sort of going over everything, I really enjoyed the way the box worked, how they both came together. I thought that was really cool. I like the way the soaps looked. Uh, both soaps featured all natural ingredients, nothing harmful or anything of that nature. So that was really good. All the boxes checked off there. Um, both smell absolutely fantastic. A big, big fan of them. In fact, honestly, uh, if you want to add both of them to the main lineup, I think both of them are unique enough and do their own thing enough where he could even add them in the lineup and just I think they'll fit right at home, honestly. I also think it's very important to note here is that both our soaps perform very well. Now, it's really no big surprise to me as I never had a bad experience with any of the soaps. I never had an, uh, had a moment where my skin was dry or uh, irritated or, um, I don't know, it just never felt bad. It always felt soft, smooth. Uh, I like the way they moisturize my skin. I've always had a positive experience and it seems to be uh, the case here as well. So I don't think you're gonna have any issues here. And again, as I said before, there's no uh, harsh chemicals or anything like that. Uh, everything was all natural and it really reflected here in the performance. At the end of the day, I think both soaps are fantastic. I think these are really good limited editions. I absolutely approve both of them. And I think you should check them out, man. I really do. I appreciate both of the soaps being different, unique, and he does his own thing. Though you clearly thoughtfully um, made and thought through they're not obnoxious or anything like that and i think you're gonna enjoy both of them if you decide to get them but all right my friends again this is the natural soap man it's been a pleasure as always to serve you with another review i hope to see you in one of my other videos or maybe in my one of my past reviews as well but till then guys y'all take care be safe and as always stay natural